Okay, so finally, after exactly three weeks since the release of WatchOS 9 Beta 3, which by the way was available to developers and later on to public beta testers, today we now have a brand new WatchOS update. And as you can see from this video, that is WatchOS 9 Developer Beta 4. At the time I'm recording this video, it's available to developer beta testers and later on to public beta testers. And you can see here for me that the update size comes in at exactly 629 megabytes. And this update does have quite a number of new features and changes and a lot of resolved issues. So in this video, I'm going to tell you all there is to know about WatchOS 9 Beta 4. My name is Ben and this is Half Man Half Tech. Now, first things first, the first thing that I have to let you know when it comes to this watchOS 9 update is the required devices that you need in order to update. So you need an Apple Watch Series 4 and newer. And as you can see for me, I was able to update. And when it comes to the iPhone that should be paired with the Apple Watch in order for you to update, you need an iPhone 8 or newer that supports or is updated to iOS 16, which is the latest iOS update. Now, with that out of the way, I just want to show you some other updates that Apple released today. So if we go to the Apple developer page here, you'll be able to see that today the only update that was released was watchOS 9 beta 4. Now there are some recent updates that were released yesterday and watchOS just came a day after. So yesterday we had iOS 16 beta 4 as well as iPadOS 16 beta 4, macOS 13 beta 4, watchOS 9 beta 4 just came out today and of course tvOS 16 developer beta 4. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you want to know what's new with most of the Apple software updates and also what new features are there with your devices, then definitely do subscribe here on the channel so that you stay up to date. Now, in terms of the new software changes that came with this update, I'm actually going to show you using the new Mirror My uh, Apple Watch feature. So you can can easily access it by going into the settings on your iPhone and going into the accessibility and go to where it says Apple Watch mirroring and if you turn this toggle on just like this you see that it takes a moment and then boom you are able to mirror your Apple Watch so for some reason it failed for the first time so this is a beta and with the beta these are issues that are always common so let's give it a moment to see if it does connect now it's connected so that took about like uh, 45 seconds to connect with the beta these are issues that are always common so if we actually hit on our apple crown here and go into settings you will see that yes our apple watch is up to date but if we go to the about section you'll be able to see the new software changes that came with this update and as you can see there the new build number that we have is 20r5 332g so this build number actually takes one step back because on the previous version which was watchOS 9 beta 3 the build number that we had was 20r5316f so we went from an f to a g which is one step back it's unfortunate and just goes to mean that some of the issues are still pending when it comes to this beta update now the first thing that I want to show you when it comes to the new features and changes that came with watchOS 9 beta 4 is basically the overall experience that you can see when it comes to screen mirroring your Apple Watch to your iPhone. This is now working a little bit better. What I notice is that sometimes the connection is a bit slow, but once you are connected, overall the user experience is pretty good. You can see if you tap the side button, you are able to scroll around and the delay has sort of been minimized and also you can see that the latency isn't as bad you can also uh, tap your side button and what i notice works better if if you tap a little bit on the inner portion of the screen when you want to tap like the side button or the crown so if you wanted to tap the crown would have to tap there 
okay and overall it just seems to be working a little bit better and more smoother when it comes to watch os 9 developer beta 4. now with screen mirroring out of the way there are some changes that came to the apple health app now the apple watch is going to be responsible for basically measuring some of your medications and giving you reminders according to what you set on your device using this medications app but if you actually go into your health app which i have open on my iphone here and go to where it says medications you will see here that we have a new splash screen or user interface and you can see the icons here have been updated if you click where it says add medications or go to where it says about medications these icons too have been redeveloped or redesigned compared to what we had on watch os 9 beta 3 there's also some search updates that have been added when it comes to this health section and medication and also you can add a custom weight or measurement according to your specifications when it comes to this medication section in your uh, health app and then you'll be able to get reminders and monitors once you add it to your medications list and it will show up on your apple watch that is something that's good now something also that has been updated when it comes to this apple watch if I go into my messages right here and go to this number, you will see that if I scroll up, right, you will see that this hide edits button has been changed the color before it used to be red. And now it looks like it's blue, sort of uh, light blue to depict or to go along with the messages that uh, we have here. And you can see that you can sort of show edits or hide edits, but for some reason on this watchOS 9 beta 4, there is an issue where the edits aren't showing. So you can see that this message is edited, but if you click here, it, it thinks that it's showing you the edits, but then it only gives you the current latest message that is there. So that hopefully will be fixed and we'll be able to see, uh, you know, even messages that have been edited on the apple watch also something that's a little bit changed with this update and i think it's most probably since watch os 9 public beta 3 came out if like last week so you can see here that my watch faces are working smoother my location in the astronomy watch face is working right away no need to delay and you can see the current cloud coverage and also the lunar watch face and most of the new watch faces that came with watch os 9 are basically loading up good and uh, they are working as they are supposed to and overall it just feels more sensitive and just more polished compared to the previous version that we had now also so there's a new uh section when we go into our apple watch settings and if we go to where it says accessibility right here and go down you'll be able to see a section that says control nearby devices now the nearby devices that i have on here you can see my iphone right here and if we click there where it says control nearby devices you can see my iphone x and if we click there you can see that apple benjamin's apple watch is basically connected i didn't read that fast enough so you can see Ep benjamin's apple watch is connected and basically you can see some of the functions that we can do we can access the control center if we tap it again it disappears we can access the home button we can access the multi uh, multi task screen as you can see there we can access our notifications and then we can you know access like the apps which are notification control center and we can also like control media with our apple watch that is something that's great so now you can control your iphone using your apple watch and using the iphone as we saw when you go into the accessibility you can mirror your apple watch using your iphone this is amazing and it just goes to show you that you know when it comes to this apple ecosystem or apple ecosystem if i'm pronouncing it correct you can see that the possibilities are almost endless and the user experience is just unmatched so that's something that i thought i should let you know and it's good to see that it has been updated now when it comes to some of the bugs and issues that this update fixes the first one if we go into our apple watch and go into settings 
settings and go to where it says accessibility it has to do with voiceovers that you would add where sometimes they might not load up without you having to first close your settings like that and then once you close your settings you'll be able to open it up again and then your voiceovers would load up so that has been fixed and then the next fix has to do with call kit whereby sometimes a net the network might fail when a call user interface or ui is presented and that seems to have been resolved with this update and also we do have some fixes when it comes to the uh, workout app so the first uh, workout that was resolved has to do with the running pace in outdoor run where sometimes the a watch might drop the pace when you glance at your watch outside or when you're taking your walk so you your risk will be lowered and then when you raise it up to look at your metrics then it would sometime you know drop frames or drop some paces as a bug or an issue so that has been resolved and then there's also a resolved issue when it comes to a facetime audio that one might receive and sometimes there wouldn't be audio when you receive or answer that that call on your apple watch but that issue has been resolved according to apple with this update and also just to show you here let me stop the mirroring i want to show you here that when it comes to test flight beta applications might fail to install from time to time that was a bug that was there but with this update this has been resolved as well there's also some fixes when it comes to this update and specifically to do with the battery and power saving mode where sometimes when you do a workout and you are in the power saving mode or low power mode that would override the settings so that has also been resolved and then also there's a fix when it comes to data incremental when doing a swim workout and pace calculation and split fixes so those are some of the fixes that are here with this update and although there are a lot of fixes that are here with watchOS 9 beta 4 there's also quite a number of bugs and issues that i have to mention and the first one has to do with third party app complication or watch complication so if you do have third party apps loaded on your apple watch and you add them as your complications for your watch faces it's still an issue and also something else that i do have to let you know is that this update isn't backward compatible and that has been basically there with most of the updates that we had on watchOS 9 and we do have some VoIP issues with this update and voice shortcuts using Siri sometimes might not work as expected so basically those are some of the new features and some of the bug fixes as well as issues that are here when it comes to watchOS 9 developer beta 4 in case of uh, when you are wondering when this update is going to be released to the general public i would say you know perhaps sometime in september as apple usually does and other than that that's just about it for me when it comes to this software update of watchOS 9 beta 4 if you like this video do leave a like and definitely subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace